fuck me up. Come on. I'm a highly favorite. Don't want to play me. No conversation. Ain't got time for nothing. Yeah, I've been chilling too. I just uh, No hesitation. <laughs> Don't try my patience. I wish it was 2K. My shittiness and ruined it. There's nothing left. I know one to the bread until we all got them baguettes. Get them footsteps coming because we coming for the check. We are situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Miami Dolphins and the New York Jets. Fielded about a yard deep. Is it on He'll bring it back to just about the 25. Call it the 24-yard line. I think BJ just said. I think BJ on the phone for his week. It was cool. Yeah. It was cool. It wasn't bad. Nah, nah. My uh, wife talking about this uh, chicken. Yeah. And I, I just didn't give her enough information. I was like, it was cool. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> He'll get this complete to Batson. A good pick up there of 22. We often, with Cam Newton, talk a lot about his legs. Don't forget about that arm. <laughs> he can throw it on a rope. It tastes like he chicken. can loft it. He's got the touch that's been developed throughout his career. It tastes like chicken. But the big part about just watching him throw it, it seems almost effortless. On first down, Newton. He's got this one complete to Perry. Hey, he was laying on the and ground. I was scared to throw it. Like, he ain't about to get up. Is he? Quite to the 35. <laughs> is he about to? Is he going? Hey, that's funny as shit. I was shook. Two nice first down I was scared to, to death to throw it. Like, I don't know. Like, you like, you get, when they go for a sack and they on the ground, they get up quick as fuck. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first Man, down. I'm like, is he going to get up? Now Newton. Buying time to his left. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. A well executed 22 yard gain. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a gain in the middle of the defense. It hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that opens things up for you on the outside as well. But that's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more of that. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. And he's got it. Oh! Second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. The safety, Jamal Adams, able to yes. break that one up. They had a good chance to get the first points of the game on the board, but what a great job defensively getting a hand in there, knocking it away, and preventing that first touchdown. Throwing on third down, Newton. Under pressure, and he'll go down. Back at the 26-yard line. Marcus Davenport, the first rounder out of UTSA with a sack. And his kick is good. <laughs> and the opening drive for the Dolphins yields three. Able to move the ball on that drive. Yes, just three points, but four first downs were in there. Yeah, and you can look at it and feel pretty good about the whole thing and yeah. think, okay, this should continue throughout this ball It just keeps you from playing, being able side, to play coverage. If you're a defender, yeah, right. it's almost like, you, know you got to play me now. They move the ball <laughs> on us pretty well. I'll be out here looking awful. <laughs> The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. It's one, yeah, like two, like it's one read, two reads, run. This will be taken very short. Yep. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Mm -hmm. I'll be done with the play like that. 
damn, I, I, you know, that was like that was like six yards I was looking at if I could have took off. But, but Darnold going to lead the Jets up now, first and ten at their own 22. All because of Rob. <laughs> Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And not too much going there as he'll get it up to the 23-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. What up, boy? To throw is Garland. And uh, this one incomplete. Yeah, there you go. I'll just say he just Too much hit. contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get to Not you. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They Damn. might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. Under pressure now, Darnold, and he goes down. The start of this game shaping up nicely on that visiting sideline. Yeah, how about that? You get your points on the opening drive. Then you get a big sack there on third down. And you make the home crowd go, shh. There is a hush indeed. He only okay. pointed twice in the oh, win last week as he gets this one away. Officially, that'll go as a 52-yard punt. Not too shabby. And it'll be Dolphin football. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. They go play action here on first down. Being chased out left. And that is caught. Touchdown Miami. Rashad Perriman, his fourth touchdown <laughs> on the year. And the Dolphins strike quickly here for six points. Well, that big score all started with Cam being forced from the pocket, but when he's outside of the pocket, it doesn't really bother him. And part of that is the word you use, big, right? He bought extra time by moving outside of the pocket, which means receivers can get downfield farther, and Cam's got more than enough arm to find them, and we end up with a big play. This will be taken short. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. <laughs> Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. <laughs> and nothing but daylight ahead. 20, 10, and all the way in. Touchdown, New York. A big play there with his first career NFL yeah, touchdown. Get... As his guys are on the board here in this first quarter. Here's Taylor Catanzaro for the extra point. And they're back within a field goal. It's 10-7 now. Yeah. Now after the touchdown, it's Lachlan Edwards to kick it away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. <laughs> Go play college. <laughs> the Dolphins you know what I'm saying? Living your dream. You know what I'm I can hear it in your voice. You want to get back. One play drive, long pass. That Maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up. Whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drive is exactly what you want on offense. What they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was yeah. real easy last time. They can't expect work. that going forward. And we'll see if it's that easy here. <laughs> Ball up to the 35 yeah. now as they I'll come up on first and 10. <laughs> Check, 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 check
Newton now to throw. Oh, my God. Now that'll be tipped and intercepted. Picked off at the 40. And his guys are going to get the football at the 37-yard line. Well, there definitely was some juice on that pass. And while tight ends don't always have cool the same with reputation with the for hands up. as wide receivers do, in this case, the pick was that unnecessary, was man. He ain't even got no hands, like... After the interception, here's Darnold escaping the pressure right. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Snags it for the pick. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now they told us repeatedly earlier in the week in our meetings, we need some plays from our defense here on the road early. They got one. And don't think they were above all week long pointing out to their defense. That the other defense is rated nah, higher than them. Man, why would you I be talking about you? My dude, uh, my player Michael Davis, they got good. He's talking about me. No. He'll look to throw. <laughs> Steps away to his left. Looking for Perriman there. He's got him. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Let's go. He got 29 yards that time. This nigga, man, mute, mute us. Uh. <laughs> Everybody try to hear this nigga. <laughs> so one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Twenty. Newton. And he fires one incomplete. Hey, I'm just as all right. <laughs> what? That shit is so bad. I'm sitting there like, yo, man, we lucky to just not. That leads to a second and ten. Yeah. Throwing again. Newton. Throws right side, and that's complete. That one good for a first down pickup of 18 yards. You jiggle it, baby. 10 7 our score after one right here on EA Sports. It's Dolphins football here as we begin the second quarter as they've got it with a first and 10. Newton now 7 of 10 here in this first half, and he's got a first and 10. To the air again, Newton. And down he goes. They sack him right around the 41-yard line. <laughs> now, following the sack, they'll look no, to make amends on got a second down at 17. <laughs> Newton now to throw. That's caught out left by Perriman. It'll be a pickup of 15 as that'll lead to third down. So in the second quarter, he's already up over 100 yards receiving now. And isn't 100 the magic number for a really good game for a receiver? So he got a chance to really shatter that and have a profound effect on this game. Throw left side complete. That's Hodges. And he's going to have a first down here as he gets this one to the 17-yard line. Definitely thought he was about His to go down. <laughs> good for nine in the first down. I was like, yo, I was like, yo man, go ahead and follow that flat route. And he was like, nah, bro, I got to sit right here. I was like, oh, I didn't already, I didn't already threw it. <laughs> I was anticipating, you know, you was going to play his zone. Now, over 200 uh, yards already in this you, first you, you half. It's first and 10. <laughs> From the red zone now, Newton. A look over the middle, and he's got Paramount. He's down inside the 10 to the 8. And it comes on a gain of eight. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Again, Newton. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Alshon Jeffrey, his first touchdown on the year. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage.
point after, right down the middle. And the decision <laughs> to just kick the extra point winds up successful. You gotta play it all the way through. You thought you had it. <laughs> uh -huh. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken very short. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this second quarter. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They've shown precious little here offensively thus far as they try again with a first down now. Now Cohen. That is a right? The tackle, 33, right? <laughs> following a good pickup of eight. He ain't about to get away yet. They'd love to just strike back with a touchdown right here, and if it's a long play, so be it. But the main goal, get a couple of first downs, run some plays, run some clock, allow their defense to get a chance to catch their breath, settle down, and relax a little bit after they just gave up a score. Here's a second and two now from the 33. Now Darnold, looking left side, and he's got a man. It's Armstrong. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. So from the 36 now, first and 10. First down and run with Cohen. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. That really sets him back. A loss of six. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that. Got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Now on second and 16, Darnold. He's going to have the hook up to Ross. A short gain of just over two yards as the first half clock dips inside of three minutes. And boy, they had high praise for this rookie receiver when we asked the coaches about him, didn't they? They certainly did, and obviously they liked his measurables, otherwise they wouldn't have brought him on to the team. Height, weight, speed, all of that. You lost but how about what they really said? Competitiveness. That's what they really liked about him. The way he goes after the football, competes for it, and decides when it's in the air, it's his and only his. Watch right, watch right. Third and long, it's Darnold. And he fires one that's intercepted. He's picked yeah, off just shy of midfield. So that's back-to-back -back drives where they're throwing an interception. Ordinarily, we look I mean, at the offense and say, what's too, going man. on with your scheme? <laughs> you Maybe we like should look twice. at the defense I mean, and just give them a whole lot of credit. <laughs> They've got them frustrated right Fuck now. You, man. <laughs> Step on it. Now following the interception, here's Newton. Throw left side complete. That's Hodges. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. 17 yards for the Dolphins there as they've got themselves a first down. Newton now, 12 of 15, throwing the ball, 80% so far, and it's first and 10. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. <laughs> you can't have no chicken sandwich, bro. <laughs> Coming up at the half, a reminder, we go back to Orlando to check in with Jonathan Coachman. He'll have a look back at our first half, as well as a look ahead to what's mind? coming up later this weekend. <laughs> Now a first down throw for Newton. And a diving grab. I think he got that. Yes. Huh? 18 big oh, no. yards on that Sounds one. And a Miami first. That's all you got to bargain with. You ain't got nothing. 
<laughs> now Newton on first down. And he just throws <laughs> and this one away. Smart decision here, this close to the end zone, and it brings up second down. Yeah, that one sailed on him. You've got to I was just trying to settle my feet somewhere. <laughs> so they are throw it away. Like, They'll yeah, make the circus over, catches, man. but they make them out of bounds. That does you no good. I'm like, he won. <laughs> Back to the air, Newton on second down. And that's complete to Jeffrey. And he's able to work it here to the eight yard line. That good. catch good for five. It's third down. The last play on the completion got him half of what they needed. Now here's a tough third and five. I don't even think that up, right? Newton throwing again. And he's got it. And he won't have the touchdown, but he will have the first down as he's tackled at the two. It's a gain of six as they're able to convert, and now it's first and goal. Here's Newton. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Cam Newton with his third touchdown pass of this first half. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Extra point right down the middle. And the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Mm. <laughs> we gonna run out here. Set now to kick oh, yeah. this one away, and off it goes. This will be taken short. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Uh, we're under 20 seconds to go in the half. I'm guessing the wise play here is be safe. That is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here, here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only going to fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not going to be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. So we are at halftime here on a Monday night as we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This will be taken very short. And he'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. At their own 22-yard line. Oh, you talk about the kick. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, what? Nah, for sure. Yeah, you definitely cool enough for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Start their next drive. yeah, yeah. They have the ball here for like, the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big yeah, deficit, yeah. though. It's we'll see where the adjustments were made to the right. in the locker room. And I never uh, wanted to make something yeah. more important than it you actually did it real is. Prior, right? I don't you know, want to yeah. create more hype than what is there. But this is a real, do I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting <laughs> plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Man. <laughs> Throwing on second and 14. Darnold. He's going to air one out. And that'll be incomplete. 
Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. <laughs> right on cue. Secondary has done such a good job of frustrating these receivers tonight. Just Another talked example about right him. there on the Here you go. Sometimes when the sun goes down and it's just the bright lights in the stadium. Uh, talking about how he uh, uh, ain't let nobody get no returns on us. You're going to get this scum kick. That was a deep one there. They're making plays on the football, contesting everything. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a jet first down. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. Darnold now to throw and incomplete. He released that awkwardly. It almost looked like a pitcher who gripped his fastball a little too hard and let it go late and it bounced in front of the plate. Yeah, one of those fastballs that ends up at 57 feet, not 60 feet, 6 inches. Just a little short with the arm, which is uh, unusual no, because we saw him in warm-ups. He's got a big, strong arm. And for a third time tonight, he's intercepted. Picked off around the 37. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. <laughs> They're going to they gonna have to point. go with the replay. They're going to have to catch the, the tape delay. <laughs> and the lead is now 24. <laughs> right. You know that's how they be. You know that's how y'all <laughs> You know that's how they be. This will be taken short. And he'll take it up past uh, the 25 <laughs> to the 26 yard line. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And they just had that pick six. I guess the only positive maybe of them returning that for a touchdown, this offense right back out onto the field to try to make up for it. I like that because now it doesn't give them a chance to go to the bench and really settle, you know, to sit there and kind of seethe over the idea that they turned the ball over previously. Right back out there, it's almost like hopping right back on the bike after falling over. See if they can get the ball moving again. <laughs> yeah, we'll see if they can do it here. Oh. Cut the game off. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Armstrong, and he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. It's a first down on a gain of 10. Come on, We've seen him break Come off a big run already in this game, and for a second, that one looked like They're it coming. might be enough. Yeah, I think that any defense would say, look, we can't <laughs> let him get to the second level because sometimes he'll break off the big run on his own, but oftentimes you get additional blocking at the second level, which gets you deeper into the secondary. Donald completes it, and yeah, this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. Mm -hmm. Here's Darrell. And for the fourth time tonight, it's an interception. Picked off at the 23. And he'll take this back all the way up past the 45-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone set. What? Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's Where I been, bro? What's been going on? Door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. That one good for 13 at a Dolphin first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball on the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. 20. On first and 10, Newton. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That's very well timed there defensively because it's not a bad throw, but the collision came at the exact time 
he was reaching to bring in the football. <laughs> really, really well done. Decent offense, just better defense. I think you're right. My Here man. now is second and 10, again from the 41. Go! Check, 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 check. Check, check, check. It's left. Staying open. Gun, gun. To throw again, Newton. He's got this one complete to Perriman. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 16. And that last reception puts him over 150 yards now on the game, Charles. And now it's not just execution. It's not just performance. It's a mental aspect that's going on because right now he's got the defense so much on their heels. He's got them looking. And that is caught. Touchdown, Miami. Four touchdown passes now for Cam Newton <laughs> as his guys continue to put this one out of reach. And he's a little bit on the shorter side as a receiver. Maybe sometimes for the defense, tough to find the little guys, right? <laughs> yeah, sometimes they get lost in the traffic. But right usually now, what it means is that rather than just winning with height or even speed, they use their quickness to find a way to get open. Well, tall, short, wide, skinny, whatever. <laughs> there it results in a touchdown. This will be taken very short. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard <laughs> line. Make you play. Damn, I can't say no to one. Hit one. <laughs> Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. They are right now just ice cold. I mean, they have struggled big time in this game, and they're getting blown out. How do they adjust? So tough because we always talk about it being a team game and you need all 11 working well together. But every now and then, partner, you need that one guy who can make a play against all odds that maybe can ignite things. And I think that's what they're looking for right now. Yeah, you talk about going to your playmakers. They probably need to do it. Find someone that you're used to touching the football that makes big plays and give them that opportunity to maybe wake up everyone else. Second and six, just inside the 30. They'll run on oh, second down with Cohen, and he'll be brought down right around the 37. Hey, hey, I, fo hey, I follow first suit. Down you know pick up of eight. <laughs> but he does it at a high level, doesn't he? Because when I watch him, I think of his vision. Let's get it. Straight ahead, peripheral. Also has that sense of where holes are going to be before they actually open. I think that helps set him apart from many of the other bats in the league. But they're able to swarm him behind the line, and his rough night continues. A jet first down, 18 big yards that time. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. Check 59, Mike. Mike is begun. On second and nine, Darnold over the middle complete. That's Armstrong. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. On third down, Armstrong. And he will be very close to a first down, but I see the closed fist of the referee, and that means fourth down. This late in the game, Charles, I think you maybe seriously have to think about going for it. Especially where they are in terms of field position, because this is almost like no man's land. Might hurt your punter because there might not be enough space, maybe too far for your field goal kicker. I I'm like the old rule. Possession is nine-tenths of the law. Possession is nine-tenths of winning the game. Go for it. Get the first down. Close it out. I hate them. <laughs> hey, we got a fight. Here's Darnold. He's got his man. That's Wallace. And they're able to get this one past the 30 to the 25-yard line. 
10 yards is the pickup. Yeah. Good enough for a Jet first down. Darnold now a perfect 8 for 8 to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. Here's Darnold. Got his man there. It's Wallace complete. The completion good for 3 and it's second down. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get down. And this is going to be intercepted. Read it well and it's picked. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Just a little bit of a rough stretch. Six interceptions now in these last two weeks combined. I know the easy thing is to go back to mechanics, footwork, things of that nature. I'm also wondering, is he getting fooled by what he's seeing on defense? Has the scouting report changed? Are they showing him things different than what he expected? For the second week in a row, he's throwing it to the guys in the wrong color shirts. Yeah, he better figure, whatever the reason is, he better figure it out. What? I know. I try, man. It just they run ain't again me. with Logan. <laughs> That's ain't for me. Well, that'll get them some of what they needed, but they're still I'll left here with the third and nine forthcoming. At this stage of the game, with the score where it is, the key here still in bounds, and he did just that. Not by a huge margin, but he stayed in. And those come up in what we like to call winning edge meetings. The things that you have to do. Late game situations, <laughs> kicking situations, it doesn't matter what it is, the things you have to do to win a game, and that comes up Come in that on, meeting, Alshon, they get practice it, they've got to be happy to see it. Yo, we positive now. To I just want to be positive. Two yards <laughs> on the pick up there, it's fourth down. I don't like finishing the day with that direction. Dolphins send out the punter now. Always a good sign when your first punt comes in the fourth quarter. <laughs> got me just out here. Hey, hey, and in this playbook, I don't even be throwing to him, so he's just shit. Yeah. <laughs> keep, keep, the, keep the QB upright. <laughs> oh, the return yeah. is coming. Try to get signed at the uh, left side. We are inside of two <laughs> minutes left in this lopsided <laughs> affair. <laughs> Franchise, that's the offensive line. <laughs> So it's Jets football as we get you reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They will get four yards here on the first down run, and that'll make it second and six. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Well, they did throw interceptions on their last two drives, so no surprise at all they decided to start it with a running play. I'm actually a little bit surprised, though, that they got as much out as they did. Yeah, decent little gain. Puts them in a pretty good spot for second down. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Armstrong. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. The tackle there by Fabian Moreau. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket I'm fence good, in love. front of him. No room to find to get up field. Let's go. Pick it up. Cut. Darnold. Man. He's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there. That brings up fourth. Oh. <laughs> he damn sure did. And no move to get the offense off the field. They're going on fourth and five. And here we go on fourth. Darnold, he's going to let it fly. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. Man, they had to go for out. it with such little time <laughs> remaining. And the Dolphins get the football in great field <laughs> position. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to pay. They'll run on first down. It's Logan. And he'll get it down on the play to the 37. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. Yeah, good game, Sal. Appreciate you letting me get back one. You got it. You got it. <laughs> nah. Hey, I got you. Hold on. Let so me throw a up victory the, uh, here for the Miami Dolphins. And you know, it wasn't a show.